draft your modesty panel this is what we're going to do right now you take your measurement down to your hip area that's this is your bust point under bust waist and then the hip and extra length above down below the hip this measurement is the same measurement you take for the one i did for your ba back waistline this is the back part of that particular tutorial so now i'm going to take the neck measurement the neck for the back measurement is one inch downwards you just take just one inch downwards and then of course you rule your neck okay that's for the back of that back uh, line that i showed you on the corset so you now create a curve like a curve for your neck like a round kind of curve for your neck like this okay and then for your back waist measurement you come down again from that place at one inch or one and a half inch yeah then then you create a round curve line then you but but you mark it from four inches three and a half or four inches here on the person's um on the fabric sorry and then you just create a curve like this okay this is to give an opening at the back then you create a a triangular line like this okay and then you give an one inch extra this side you're going to fold it in one inch extra is what you fold in, or one and a half inch is what you fold in so you just give an extra inch there for folding and then this is your neck that curve there don't forget and then this side you rule so i'm going to cut out the excess leaving that one i'm going to leave that one inch extra there okay just cut it out in this format and then cut out that side that i curve okay i did this on folding make sure you take this pattern whilst folding your pattern paper or your fabric so you make sure you do it on folding okay so i'm just i remember i if you notice i kept an extra one inch on the right as well make sure you take this line a line it has to be an a line here from your waist down to your hip it has to be an a line okay an a line you have it you, you don't make that a line is going to have it you're going to have a problem with it balance on the body so i've cut it open i've opened it up so you can see you can see the design of the back waistline so this side here i gave extra one inch is the side i'm going to fold in like on your fabric inside you're going to fold in to sew in okay so that's why you have to give that extra one inch there that i folded you can see i'm also folding it here on the left as well so that's what you are going to fold this is the side you are folding in make sure you're doing this pattern not only on fabric but on your lining as well because your lining you're going to fold in, in like this if it's your lining and this is your fabric you fold the fabric like this and fold the lining to interface it like this because this way you're going to do your lacing for your modesty panel that side there so you just fold it like this that's your lining over assuming it's your lining now under you fold your lining like this inside it and fold the other one on top of it like this this is where you will sew so when you are doing this pattern for the down part you're going to do both lining and like this let me bring you closer so yeah when you fold it in like this you will sew okay you sew it like this okay so i sewed this line here don't know if you can see let me open it up for you to see you can see uh, this part here is open okay so you see so that this way you put your lacing okay or create your modesty panel you're creating modesty panel you sew two at the edge as well okay so this is it so you do the same thing on both sides now on this side you don't put lining on top of that upper it's just on the down part you're putting lining so if you want to do you can actually fold a fabric or use bias let me just show you if you fold the fabric just fold it like this and sew it and bend it in i'm going to show you with bias on the fabric but let me just use this pattern first so when you use you put your this thing like this you just keep putting it okay you can just take maybe one and a half inch spacing okay and then just either you pin it to hold it and then you sew it so i'm just going to pin it here for you to hold it and then you will sew it just beside the line that you create you sewed the first time okay let me bring it closer now so you can see this side now that i sewed here like this downwards i sewed the line just beside it so it holds the that's that lacing part okay so this part now is where your modesty panel cover will be this side is where you will sew okay you sew on the right and then you put that's you sew on this side that i'm pinning okay that's where you sew it this side is part that covers the back that's that lacing inside you sew this side and then this side or the left side is where this side um this right side where you sew it but the left side is where you put pressing button okay so this left side here this one that i'm yeah i'm opening here is where you put pressing button pressing button is what you use you press it in when the person wears the person can you know open and close it there so this is it so i'm just going to before we cut out this uh, pattern on top here uh, this side is where you cut it out like this so you, the way why you will cut is because the materials used are going to be different the top is going to use net either combination net or skin net and this down is going to use fabric and then lining so let's go ahead and um 
use our fabric you go to use and put on a fabric pin it and cut it so i've pinned it on my fabric and cut it this one is for the one that you put under inside here that i showed you so i'm setting that one aside now i'm going to remove all the pins on all the parts that i pin like this net this skin net i pin that one there i also pin this so i'm losing moving all the pins that i use in pinning because using pins will help you cut it perfectly well so after pinning removing all the pins this is the pattern this side is where you fold remember that's the one inch i told you to take extra so this way you fold so i've gone ahead to show what i the example i showed i use bias so if you're using bias okay you fold it in like this if you want it big if you want it tinier most people do it tinier they fold the bias into two like this and then sew the line a line small line on it with the same color of the bias okay you can use material if you don't see the color of bias i'm looking for and then you sew it just the way i showed you how to sew so you see the second line which is the second line i use in sewing the bias make sure you use the color of the thread of the material i'm just using white here so that you can see the line itself so this is it and then i'm going to use it as the rope to tie the lacing okay this is what i'm going to use to lace out the you know the design there and um, there's a special rope for it but i'm just using this particular rope for illustration purpose only you can just get a ribbon rope or you can sew a rope for it so you just put the rope and interface it like this how you interface it okay the way i'm doing it now i just put it here and then so interface it cross it sorry not interface cross it like this and then cross it to the other side no interface cross it you can see i just cross it like this this is how the design of the um uh, lacing modesty panel there's another type that uses eyelet i'll show you how to do that one uh, in another video so this is it the front uh, the top and then the down part so you're going to sew it and interface it these are what i've done i've sewn it here and interfaced it on this other side then this side you double the net to i just use one side as in then you cut open the middle i just use one net okay this side is where you button this part i cut open is where you button it in together then this side is the inside part here okay that's this side i supposed to put inside i told you that you use um you sew this line here and then you put pressing button inside this other side that's why if you have any question ask me